हंग The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 5th of July, 1975, in Chicago, Illinois. Sri Rupam. Mayar Bhavav, this material advancement, the advancement of Maya, big, big building, nice road, nice motor car, nice, surely it is material advancement, admitted. But this advancement is advancement of the illusory energy. So what is wrong there? Suppose that the wrong is there that this material world is temporary. We have come here temporary, twenty five years, fifty years, at most hundred years. Uh, we are already illusion and we become more illusion. Then we forget our real business, mūrā. We remain mūrā. Supposing if there is next bar, so who is very much anxious to know what is our next bar? Nobody is. Blindly going on. We are away. Very nice chart. But understand what for this church is, what is God, what is God consciousness. Just cultivate this knowledge. No, because it's finished. Live nice building, nice happy life, but don't forget Krishna. Then what is the use of this life? And if you forget Krishna, then the result will be crying and he will be facing with problems. Why and now what to do? So many problems will be there. So the problems cannot be solved simply by possessing big, big buildings. There are so many churches. All over America there are very expensive churches. In India you do not see so many temples. I was surprised when I went there first because there are, you do not see very many big, gorgeous temples. But here everywhere there are big, gorgeous churches. Oh, India, South India. South India is full. Oh, South India. North India not. You have not seen Jagannath? No. And Vrindavan also, the uh, Ranganath temple. Yes. There are some nice temples. On south, many. Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu. These are all university houses or private? Some university and some private. All very nice houses. Yes. Let them. Every house, small temple, perform kirtan, then this will be all success. Do not cook meat, nice prasada. Everything can be to life, but better for them. Now in the morning they are sleeping. Nidra yati naktam babayana cha bhavaya. At night, either sleeping or sex. And the time, diva charte haya raja kutumba varane rava. The time, where is money, where is money? No, seventy miles free, go there, there is some money. 
All right, take money. Then what is the next thing? Kutumma bharani nava. Just to purchase for the family, finish money. Again tomorrow. And what is the business of your spiritual life? No time. What can you do? Night we are busy in this way and day we are busy. So where is the time? Don't bother us. <laughs> Try to make them devotees, they will not become. Not very easily. Bhogai sajya prasakta nam tayapo hitacita sam dausatmika buddhi prabhidhiya. Therefore, too much attachment for material enjoyment is disqualification for spiritual life. So the Western world is turned up for being too much attached to material enjoyment. Therefore, lagging behind a spiritual life. Vedic civilization is not to encourage too much for material enjoyment. Minimize. That is Indian civilization. They, if they had money, they used to spend for constructing big temples, not for residential. Maybe the king only had a big palace. Common man, they didn't care for big palace. They perish their way. Common man would be very glad to live in a cottage, a small garden for growing vegetable, fruit small lake, that's all. Not wasting time for big buildings, big green, what is called? Amenities? Amenities. It is good you have done this, but make this Krishna consciousness also one of the paraphernalia. Then it is very nice. But they are not inclined. Hare Krishna. Brahmins are scenting danger because they see that these Europeans are worshipping deity temple, then gradually there will be no caste man. Prabhu also had difficulty with the caste Brahmins? They complained to the magistrate that what kind of religion he is introducing. It is not our Hindu religion. So chastise him. Part of the Brahmins, the police came and broke the drum. It was not the fault of the Mahamedans. The Brahmins lost complaint against Chaitanya Mahamedans. So he has to take step. They said it is not Hindu religion. They are disturbing God by chanting so loudly. <laughs> now they, the God is sleeping and they are disturbing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So stop this. So what can he do? After all, he is public servant. Therefore he took step.
come back from England myself. Another boy who was doing library work here mm. went there uh, after India festival. And so many uh, very important schools all around the world that are known all around the world for taking your, your books. Mm. Our last day was one of our most amazing days. We went to the Indian office library, mm. the British government, uh -huh. because they've colonized India. They have so many books on, on India. This was the largest library like that in Europe. And the library, and he looked at our books, and he says, yes, we should have all of these. So right on the spot, he ordered uh, standing orders, one copy of every book. That same day, this was just three days ago, two days ago, we went to the biggest bookstore in the world. They're so big that they have three blocks. They take up sort of like three blocks. And they have three levels, three floors. So we went to see the manager, the man who owns, you know, the whole bookstore. And he says, well, I only deal with rare books. He says, well, this is why we've come to see you. And he says, I want three copies of every book. <laughs> yeah, three of every book. So they have ordered. Yes. Very good. Just in a matter of four, well, about seven, eight weeks, over a hundred professors, you know, taking your books there. Uh, standing order? No, about huh. twelve have taken standing, about ten have taken standing orders, but others have taken books to use for their courses or for their own reading and for their own edification. Big schools like Cambridge, Oxford, as soon as they see the books, they immediately uh, want them. They this is the order. rarest book. Not only rare, but rarest. There's no book throughout the whole world. That's such book. Professor, hmm. he, he was reading your Bhagavad Gita. It was on his desk when I came into his office. Andre. Yeah. He says, oh yes, I know the Bhakti Vedanta books. I've just got this book from one of my colleagues. And he says, I showed him the books. He, he bought, he wanted the standing order. He teaches Sanskrit and uh, Indian religions and Indian philosophy. And uh, he said, well, there's one book I was just reading, uh, Bhaktivedanta, he, he mentions it, the Nectar of Devotion, he says, that you didn't show me that, do you have that one? <laughs> <laughs> so I brought the books back to him that same day. Mm -hmm. And when I brought them, his students, uh, they just, uh, they were in class, and they came out of the class, and they started looking at the books themselves, you know. And they, they really wanted to, uh, you know, to be sure that they could have a chance to read them in their, in their course. They were really happy that he was, he was buying them. So these are Krishna conscious books. We've read some of these before. These are really nice. <coughs> Greater enthusiasm uh, go on with book distribution. They will benefit it. And distributors also will be benefit. Krishna says, Jayavang Paramam Guriyam Madhvakti Shavidana. Machata smart when it says Pashit may play with If you want to become quickly recognized by Krishna, then uh, make propaganda to this Krishna consciousness movement. And once recognized by Krishna, then you are going back to home, back to your guarantee. Sometimes we have heard that codesty is an inauspicious alignment of the planets and therefore one has to counteract this inauspiciousness by more chanting. <laughs> no, no. It is the most auspicious. <laughs> and chanting is more effective. I remember you were instructing once that all of your initiated disciples should chant 25 rounds. Minimum. Minimum on this day. Is that a rule that we should all follow in our temples? Hmm? 20. We had 16 rounds. No, I mean on Ekadasi. Oh, yes. Ekadasi simply you should chant. No other reason. Nidjala. No preaching work? Eh? Should they go out for preaching? No, those who are preaching, not for them. Oh. Those are sitting idle. Or <laughs> <laughs> Has no other regulation, simply preaching. 
The preacher is so exalted. He hasn't got to follow any regulation. But don't take it. <laughs> no, actually, if he, one is busy in preaching work, that is first class. Mm-hmm. It's not my manufacturer, or my guru Maharaj. That, uh, that uh, Madam Maharaj, when he was Brahmacharya, his name was Haigri. So, he was to go somewhere. So, but he was sick. But the Guru Maharaj was informed that he was sick. And today is Ekadasi. He cannot take his regular meals. So, Guru Maharaj said, no. He let him take immediately meals and go. Maharaj would sacrifice everything for preaching. Oh, yes. He was not pleased to. But Maharaj, he could not do anything. Most pleased with you, Srila Prabhupada. Hmm? We, we must be sure of that. Now, unless he is pleased, what I am what? It is due to his labor. Otherwise, what I am what? Everyone says you have done wonderful. What can I do wonderful? It is by his pleasure. It is by Prasadāda Bhagavat Prasadāda.